So you might be trying to figure out how you can use the journal application on your iPhone. Now, doing this is actually very, very basic. You will have to be on iOS 17.2 or above to basically get the you know journal application. So keep that in mind, just go and update your phone. And as long as you're on 17.2, you should be able to use it. Now, I don't even have it on this iPhone. I have it on my other one. Now, the journal application looks like this. So go and open it up. Now, when you open it up for the very first time, it's basically going to go ahead and show you a few things. So it's either going to tell you like a welcome screen or whatever, but it's also going to show you this display after you go through it. So what you can start doing is you can go ahead and essentially start journaling. So this layout is pretty basic. You have your stuff here. You have a filter at the very top, but in this case, we don't even have any journals. So to start off, you want to click on this little plus button that's right here. Now, when you do that, it's going to bring you into this panel. So to create and jump into a new entry, you can tap on this new entry panel right here to basically jump in and create a new entry. Now, there are also some random, you know, basically templates and things that you can use at the very bottom to basically kind of get started. So it says, you know, private access to suggestion, whatever it says, is write about the last time you did something for your friends or family. You can take a selfie and write about what you, whatever, what's the best, what's the most interesting thing you, I can't even read today, things you learned about another person recently. So you can go and actually tap on these things and actually start having kind of like a little like thing to kind of write about if you can't, if you don't already have something to write about. So that's actually a really, really cool thing. Now, going back here, you can also go into recent. So these are just recent things that you can do as well. I'll just go next out of this. But to create a new entry, you can just tap on new entry right here. And it says journal requires an Apple ID with two-factor authentication. So you want to go ahead and make sure you have that set up already. Now, you can go ahead and start writing. So here, what I can do is I can just say hi, or I can even use dictation. Hi, today was a good day. I did a lot of stuff, and I'm making a video right now. So you can go and write down exactly whatever you want to go ahead and do. And from here, it works just like any, it's almost like the notes application for the most part. Now, there's a couple of buttons down here. So if you tap on the first button or first button, it's this one like recommended suggestion things to kind of have like a starter. You can also add images within your journal as well by clicking on this image button. So you can go and tap on here. You can, I think you can even drag and drop an image over. So you can go and do that. So you can add an image over. So you have that type of capability. You can also just open up the camera and literally just take a photo if you want to and pretty much go from there as well. So you can just go and take this photo. So you can add that and paste that in right there. You have this little option here, which allows you to actually add in a little voice diary inside of a journal. So here you can go and click continue. You can go and click allow. And you can say, today was also a good day. I did so much stuff today and I'm so happy. And hopefully every day is like this. So you can just kind of say stuff like that, whatever you want to say, right? And then you can also add a location if you want to or whatever. But that's basically a quick synopsis of how to use a journal application. Now, when you're done, you can also tap on these three dots up here if you want to change the entry date or add a custom date. You can do that as well. You can also click done. And now this is an example of your journal. So now what you can do is you can just, the filter button should work so you can kind of filter it a little bit further. But this is basically what a journal will look like. And from here, you can go and tap into this journal entry right here. And you should be able to open it. And as long as you open it just like so, and that's basically what the journal entry will look like. So you can just keep adding more and more journal entries. And that's kind of a breakdown on how to use this application. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.